Well, hello and welcome to this week's episode of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. I'm your host, Chris Green, Director of Network Expansion for Avoya Travel, and we very much appreciate your time today. We're counting down until our very special 100th episode, which is set to air the first week of April. And to celebrate, we've lined up some amazing guests to help us finish off that countdown. And today, Episode number 98 of On Deck with a Boy is going to be a very special show as we have a Meet the Industry segment with none other than Tanya Springer, Vice President of Sales for the amazing new brand Atlas Ocean Voyages. Talk about good buzz on the street. I mean, I hear from a lot of our affiliates that sell this brand just how much their clients are coming back from these initial sailings, loving it, looking to book again. So we're excited to have an exclusive Q&A with uh, Tanya and get the latest about Atlas Ocean Voyages, get some tips on the best way to sell the brand, find out a little bit more about our special guest and and her journey through the travel industry. Uh, Tanya Springer will be joining us here in just a few minutes. Before we welcome Tanya to the show, we're going to have our eye on the industry segment today. And some of the stories we're following include news of the travel boom finally hitting Asia as we hear of great tour numbers in Japan, Korea, Vietnam, and a few other locations. We're going to have those details. We're also following a story about how the new Crystal Cruises will retain at least one old favorite from the old Crystal Cruises. And in honor of our special guest today from Atlas Ocean Voyages, a story about celebrity chef Jonathan Fang hosting two special Epicurean expeditions this year. All of that coming up here in just a moment. We're also going to highlight our ongoing promotions, our travel agent education powered by a Voya platform, Avoya Travel's best-in-class resources that really make a difference for those in the Avoya Travel Network, and we want to give you all the information on the ways you can stay in touch with Avoya Travel via all of our social media channels and, of course, provide the details on how you can reach out and start the process to affiliate with the number one host agency in leisure travel. That's Avoya Travel. All right, let's kick it off this week's edition, the 98th edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. In a story from Travel Weekly, Travel to Asia is on the rebound and tour operators who have long specialized in the region are welcoming the stampede of interest, especially given the uncertainty last year as to when many Asian countries would fully reopen. Now, even with the longest holdouts having dropped three years of COVID-related closures and restrictions, travelers are wasting no time in booking trips to the continent, leaving the charge as one of the most sought after destinations in Asia this spring is Japan, which in October became one of the last countries to fully reopen. Japan is booming right now. All the departures in March and April for the cherry blossom season have sold out, according to Scott Avera, president of Alexander and Roberts, a tour operator. Trafalgar, part of the Travel Corporation, recently completed a partnership with the Japan National Tourism Organization that ran from December to February to help jumpstart tourism in the country. The results have turned inquiries into bookings. Uh, Now, according to Melissa De Silva, president of the Travel Corporation Tour Brands, we saw 136% growth in traveler requests uh, for quotes for trips to the destination over that same time frame in 2019. And total travelers booked up over 25%. But the land of the rising sun is hardly the only country drawing travelers back to Asia these days. South Korea, very strong demand, as well as strong interest to travel in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. Also in a story we source from Travel Weekly, the new Crystal will have an old favorite. It's Nobu Restaurant. The refurbished Crystal Serenity and Crystal Symphony will set sail later this year with Umi Uma Restaurant and Sushi Bar still on board. Crystal, the reincarnated Crystal Cruises, will retain the Japanese restaurant by Michelin star Nobu Matsuhisa. The specialty dining venue will serve entrees, including Nobu-style black cod, grilled uh, Chilean sea bass, Wagyu beef, filet steak, and sushi. Now, the senior vice president of hotel operations for both the former and new line, Bernie Leipold, said it wouldn't be Crystal without having one of the most popular restaurants, Umi Uma, back on board when the new Crystal set sail. The Serenity will make its inaugural sailing for the new Crystal on July 31st out of France, and the Crystal Symphony will follow September 1st with its debut from Athens. And finally, in a story from Travel Pulse, Atlas Ocean Voyages announced a new gastronomic guest, UK celebrity chef Jonathan Fang, 
on board two of its Epicurean expeditions this spring on its World Navigator ship. Now, James Rodriguez, the president of Atlas Ocean, Ocean Voyages, is quoted as saying, our Epicurean expeditions are designed for travelers who enjoy food and wine. Jonathan has successfully combined his love for food with train travel, and we're thrilled that he's now heading to sea with Atlas. Fang will be a celebrity guest on board the World Navigator's April 24th and April 30th departures along Spain's Costa Brava, a part of the Mediterranean known for its incredible food. Atlas Ocean Voyages uh, announced its first gastronomic guest last week, Top Chef Brazil winner Luciana Berry for two Mediterranean itineraries on board the World Navigator May 14th and 21st. And sounds pretty tasty to me. And it makes for a nice segue in our show. One of the easiest ones we've had a long time because we go from talking about a special sailing on Atlas Ocean Voyages to an exclusive Q&A with Vice President of Sales, Tanya Springer. We're always so honored to get a chance to welcome our industry's top executives. Uh, we know there's a big demand on their time. So the fact that they would show up and, and represent, we certainly appreciate that. And it shows how amazing the Avoya Travel Strategic Partnerships team really is and how much of a focus Avoya Travel places on relationships within our industry. So please help me welcome our featured Meet the Industry guest today for On Deck with Avoya, Tanya Springer, Vice President of Sales for Atlas Ocean Voyages. Tanya, we're so excited to have you on the show and we really appreciate your time today. Thank you, Chris. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm honored. Absolutely. Before we get into the heart of our discussion, can you give our viewers a bit of background on yourself, your time in the travel industry, and what led you to being the VP of sales for Atlas Ocean Voyages? Of course. Yeah. It, and it, it's hard to believe, Chris, but I've actually been in the cruise industry now for over 30 years. Um, stunning, really. Time goes by uh, fast, huh? I know. Um, and it, it all, my journey all began. I have relocated to South Florida. I was working in real estate, and a colleague suggested that I apply for a job at this little cruise line down the road called Renaissance Cruise. So I did, and I got the job, and I never looked back. It's such a fabulous industry to be in. So, um, and it was a perfect position for me as a, a young person, I, I had the good fortune to live in Europe for a while with my family and do some traveling and it really sparked some things there. So I spent eight years at Renaissance Cruises and then I moved over to the agency side, um, spent a year there, which was lovely because I got to learn how things work on that side of it. And then I moved back into the supplier side and I worked with Oceana Cruises for 19 years. And then James Rodriguez, who you mentioned is now our president and CEO, gave me a call and asked me if I would come join him here at Atlas as VP of sales. How could I say no to that? So here I am. Absolutely. So was your time, you were talking about your chance to live in Europe when you were younger. Is that kind of when the whole travel bug set in for you? I think it did. I mean, when you're a young person and full disclosure, I was like about 10 years old, but when you're, you're being just toured around and shown all these amazing amazing things you don't appreciate it as much when you're 10 but then as I we returned to the states and kind of you know normalized normal american kid life i had that that portfolio of experiences that was in my heart was in my mind and never left me so yeah i would say absolutely it's influenced the rest of my life can you tell us a little bit about atlas ocean voyages i mean as a somewhat new brand but certainly kind of positioned as a special line. What do you think makes Atlas so special in your opinion? Oh, well, for me, the most special thing about us is that we're not a traditional cruise line. We're yacht expeditions. We're small ships. We carry less than 200 people. And I think there's a very tiny percentage of people that can afford to charter a yacht and sail the med or go on an expedition on a yacht, right? But we all like watching those shows on TV where people are doing just that. Well, with Atlas, you can have basically the same experience, but at a fraction of the cost. And as a matter of fact, because we are a little newer to the industry right now, we've got some amazing promotions. So where our per diems are actually lower than what cruisers would spend on other you know, uh, luxury expedition lines. So we're really affordable and it's just a great way to get that yacht experience and that all-inclusive experience for a very approachable price. As kind of a follow-up to that, how would you describe the ideal guest for Atlas Ocean Voyages? And do you have any advice that help, might help our travel advisor friends that are watching today maybe close a few more sales with your brand? 
Absolutely. So um, I would say that um, Atlas, we actually attract both past cruisers and folks that have never cruised before because we are an expedition company. And, um, you know, if you want to go to Antarctica or the Arctic or Greenland, what a great way to go. And I would say for our polar expedition, our guests probably are, you know, start around age 45 and up. And then for our guests who travel with us in the Mediterranean and the Greek Isles and the British Isles on our Epicurean expeditions, you know, those ages might skew a little bit higher. But really, beyond looking at age, it's more about um, the type of personality. And I would say that our cruisers are people who are curious and they have a passion for travel and, um, and they enjoy the camaraderie that they're going to find on a small ship because they're really getting to know the crew, getting to know their fellow guests. It's very convivial family atmosphere. And, um, and so they appreciate that as well as kind of the gourmet cuisine and the very luxurious appointments on board. And, um, and it is all inclusive, right? So, I mean, it's just a, a nice deal. And it doesn't offer the casinos and the wild nightlife and the big production shows that the mass market lines do. So definitely want to be mindful of that. You're looking for the type of customer that's looking for something a little more um, intimate rather than glitzy. We had a comment come in from Audrey who said she just got off the World Navigator to Antarctica sure. and she said it was awesome. So that must be the kind of feedback that you must love, especially as you guys are just engaged in and really some of your, your first sailing. So you're probably just gathering those data points. I mean, how are things, you know, as far as like starting, how would you describe 2023 for you guys? And, and what's the outlook as you kind of look down the road for the rest of the year? Yeah, it's been incredible. So I joined Atlas in late August and we started our Antarctica season in November with two ships. And the feedback we've been getting from the returning guests has surpassed our expectations. Um, you know, we're having guests on board that are rebooking for next summer um, on board, um, you know, groups of people who are saying, oh, yes, we want to travel as a group again and again and again with Atlas. And um, you, you just can't. I mean, that's just phenomenal. That's what it's what every salesperson wants to hear is that the cruisers are coming back happy. They're telling their friends they're rebooking. I mean, it's like the best thing ever. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a, a pretty yeah. good way to launch, no doubt about it. Tanya Springer, Vice President of Sales for Atlas Ocean Voyages is our special Meet the Industry guest today for On Deck with Avoya. Uh, Tanya, one of the areas that we like to highlight when we're fortunate enough to have amazing industry guests like yourself on our show is partnerships. Can you tell me a little bit about the philosophy of Atlas Ocean Voyages when it comes to the concept of partnerships? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, partnerships are everything in this industry. Uh, and, and we just feel so grateful to be partnered with such a powerhouse as Voya, quite frankly. Um, you know, our highly preferred relationship is very important to us. And um, we really value all of the advisors from Avoya who we talk to every day, we book their clients, we work hand in hand with them. It's a very symbiotic relationship and one that we, we value greatly. And given your time in the industry, you know, talking about several decades, how do you view just the importance of a travel advisor to the whole sales cycle and to the whole process that we're all part of? It's, it's critical, quite frankly. I mean, these are not trips where you... Um, you know, it's not like booking a flight online. Um, so your your travel advisor is really your advocate, your counselor, um, and they're guiding uh, consumers through their travel journey before when they're researching and preparing, during and after. They're essential. I mean, why anyone would not book with a travel advisor, I don't know, because it's like having a professional in your pocket, you know, with you the whole way. What a great quote. <laughs> We, we may steal that just so you know. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love how you put that. Um, what about you personally, when you do get a moment to kind of outside of work, what do you like to do for fun? I'm a nature buff. Uh, you will find me outside, whether it is um, on the water, I'd love to go boating, or on top of a mountain, I also love to go hiking. 
Um, I, I'm just all about the outdoors and naturally love to travel. I actually, I have a uh, two Atlas cruises pl planned between now and the end of the summer. And um, yeah, that's again, I guess that's why it's such a perfect job for me. So I have to ask though, where do you get a chance to go mountain hiking living in South Florida? <laughs> well, that's problematic. So we jump in the car and we drive for like 12 hours to get to North Carolina or we fly to Colorado. I mean, there's a lot of places, but yeah, no, can't do it out the, out the back door. I can go boating out my back door, but I can't go hiking. Yeah, people don't realize that like the highest elevation in Florida is probably a trash dump. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes. it's a, it's a beautiful statement. It definitely has a few quirks about it. We all know that travel is one of the great benefits of being part of our amazing industry. Can you share with us maybe a few personal trip highlights that you've been fortunate enough to take throughout your career and kind of what made those trips so special? Oh, sure. So I had the good fortune to travel to Tahiti um, years ago. And um, I'm a scuba diver and we took a two dive excursion and I have, there was just this out of body experience. I looked down, the water's crystal clear. And so um, I'm sure it was really deep, but I just couldn't tell. There was a whale shark swimming directly underneath of me, followed by some manta rays. And it was otherworldly. Um, I just can't, I mean, I get chills just to this day thinking of this memory, which probably goes back 20 to 25 years. That's a, that's a, like my best memory ever. Yeah, it's a pretty special memory. I, I can just imagine. And, and it's things like that that really make our industry so special, don't you think? I mean, the, the opportunity to help, you know, people who've never experienced something like that, experience that and, and so many more, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it sure beats selling widgets. <laughs> for sure yeah absolutely and and it seems that right now and it's let's knock on for Micah Wood my head whatever I don't care but it seems right now that people are, are, are putting the value of experiences higher than the value of having more stuff so I know all of us in the travel industry hope that continues are you guys kind of seeing the same thing absolutely I think when we were all kind of trapped in our homes because of the pandemic um it gave us a better appreciation of being out, be able to get out there and experience other things because we couldn't for so long. It kind of gave us all a reset, put things in perspective. And I wholeheartedly believe that those memories are, and experiences are what are going to carry you through and, and, and just um, much more so than, as you said, material possession. So, and I, and I think, People are going to remember this for, for you know, at least a generation. Good. I, I hope so, too, because I think it's really vital. And the more you travel, the more your eyes are open, the more your eyes are open, the more your mind is open, and it just kind of funnels from there. We've got a couple of more topics to talk about today, Tanya, before we let you go. And one of them is I just wanted to give you an opportunity to kind of share anything that we haven't covered yet today or any important pieces of advice that you wanted to pass along about Atlas Ocean Voyages or any last little bits of advice or, or anything to the travel advisor community? Sure. Yeah, so I would encourage all advisors to look us up online. We have a second guest sales free promotion going on right now, which is our way of introducing Atlas to the marketplace to really get folks on board because as we've learned once folks are on board they understand our value proposition and, and the amazing product that we're offering um so we have second guest sales free um uh through the end of this month we have a waves offer a, a winter savings event which gives an additional air credit as well as reduced deposits and back-to-back -back savings so there's a lot of different promotions out there to help you close the sale with Atlas Ocean Voyages. And because of the relationship that you would have with Avoya, you can layer on top even more special promotions. Um, we've got groups that you can book into, um, amenity voyages, special exclusive Avoya sale offers, um, advisor offers. There's, it's really a rich booking environment right now. So um, definitely take a look and see what those offers are. Um, and they apply both for our polar expeditions in Antarctica and the Arctic, as well as our Epicurean expeditions in the Med, which 
center around food and wine and all kinds of uh, complimentary experiences as a part of that. Tanya, we always wrap up our show with the same basic question. And we've been asking all of our guests this for the last couple of years since we launched On Deck with a Boy. And while we know the answer is probably an obvious yes, we want to know if you're excited and optimistic about the future of the travel industry. 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we've just had our best booking month ever. And the trend is just continuing up, up, up. Um, and the world is opening back up. And um, uh, us personally, as a company, we have three more ships on order. And uh, we're excited looking around the globe, like where can we put these ships? Where can we add more capacity? Because they, um, the demand is strong. Tanya Springer, everyone, Vice President of Sales for Atlas Ocean Voyages and our special Meet the Industry guest today for On Deck with a Boy Tanya, thank you so much for your time and for being part of our special countdown as we count down towards our 100th episode of On Deck with a Boya. Thanks for having me, Chris. Absolutely. Next week, another special show as the countdown continues. Uh, number 99. And we welcome back an old friend, Andy Craig, Associate Vice President of Marketing for an Avoya Insider segment. Yeah, number 99. And then we'll be unveiling our special guest for the big 100th episode. That's going to happen next Thursday at our normal time of 11.15 a.m. Pacific and 2.15 p.m. Eastern time here at On Deck with Avoya. All right, let's quickly cover a couple of main things that we want to talk about. A, we've got our promotion for our high-end uh, travel advisors to affiliate for free. Again, for an agency that's done over $100,000 in the last year in core leisure sales, cruise, river cruise, tour, all-inclusive family vacations, reach out to avoyanetwork.com. We'll get you connected with an affiliation specialist, get you qualified for that. That's running through the end of this month, so don't wave, wait on that. Wait and wave, right? It goes hand-to-hand -hand this kind of year. And then we have our ongoing promotion for our friends in the military who we absolutely continue to be honored uh, to work with. Veterans and their spouses, $100 off the affiliation fee. Again, reach out to us. Get connected with an affiliation specialist. They'll get you qualified for that. Those from the military community make great travel advisors because they're disciplined and well-traveled and they've seen some stuff and they understand the power of travel. So again, we think it's a fantastic promotion. We're glad to have that going in an ongoing kind of basis. Travel agent education. You want to you wanna get started in this industry, then do it the right way. Get your foot off the ground, onto the ladder, start making the progress up those steps and do so with travel agent education powered by Avoya. This amazing, dynamic, comprehensive travel advisor curriculum only takes about 35 to 40 hours of time. And we already say that we think you need at least 20 hours a week to be a good travel advisor. So you do the math. You can knock this out in a couple of weeks. Take the travel agency proficiency, the TAP test, um, membership in CLIA, membership in ASTA, uh, affiliate and get it completed within 60 days. We'll take another $100 off the affiliation price. So again, that education is just so vital to be part of this industry. And then when you get the education, it'll make sense how you can incorporate all of the best in class resources that are offered by Avoya Travel. I mean, we have the kind of resources that make a big difference in, 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 in the day-to-day -day aspect, whether you're new to the industry, whether you're an experienced travel professional, our biggest, our biggest resource by far has been, will be live leads, get clients sent directly to you and then turnkey marketing assets, support seven days a week, amazing technology, professional development. We make the investment in the kind of people that can help you get off the ground right. So again, reach out to avoyanetwork.com and get that process started today. And, and you don't want to miss out on any information. So please follow us. Avoya Travel Network on social media, right? At Avoya Travel, that's going to be on Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn. I might forget one or two. I don't know, but we're, we're around and we want you to make sure you have all the information. And of course, the easiest way to reach out to me is by email at chris.green at avoyatravel.com. And make sure you go to the website, avoyanetwork.com. There is a wealth of information there. So please don't miss that. Thank you so much for being part of On Deck with Avoya this week. Thank you so much to Tanya Springer from Atlas Ocean Voyages for being our very special guest. Great job from Annabella from Trade Marketing and producing today's segment. We'll talk to you next Thursday. Until then, take care, everyone.